Welcome to day 12 of the Atlantic Hurricane season, day 29 in the Eastern Pacific and we currently have a few new Invest, two new Invest that have formed since the last update. Invest 93E in the Eastern Pacific currently with a 10% chance as of the narrating time and Invest 99W in the Western Pacific in the South China Sea. And of course we have Tropical Storm Yagi which is weakening as it approaches the coast of Japan. Uh, as a tropical storm at the moment and you can see on the uh, Pacific imagery at the moment you can see all uh, three areas of interest at the moment Yagi heading off towards the north towards the Japanese coastline some advisories in effect uh, some gale advisories in effect on that one already 99W over there in the South China Sea which may develop over the next few days and that will be interesting because it will be a probable landfall and 93E in the, um, in the Eastern Pacific which has a low chance of formation and at the moment is not expected to develop uh, and here's the Atlantic Ocean not much going on here you can see the very distant remnants of Andrea moving towards um, the European landmass but apart from that nothing going on at all at the moment in the Atlantic and in the Indian Ocean you can see here not too much going on in, in any in the in the way of organized weather um, but there's a few clusters of showers here and there in the Bay of Bengal at the moment so let's take a look at the current sea surface temperatures, a bit of a cool down since the last update, only a little bit in the eastern pacific but waters remain warm here, uh, definitely warm enough to support tropical cyclones, the same goes for most of the uh, Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico in the Atlantic and many parts of the open ocean too. Um, and in the North Indian Ocean, again same as usual, where the northern part is warmer, uh, some 30 degree waters here. And in the South China Sea where 99W is in particular, temperatures of 30 degrees or more at the moment over that storm. So now let's take a look at Tropical Storm Yagi, here it is moving north towards the Japanese coastline, currently with winds of 45 miles per hour after reaching a peak yesterday of 60 with a pressure of 985 millibars now to 993 and is expected over the next three days or so to continue to weaken into a tropical depression and then eventually dissipate completely uh, whilst remaining well offshore from the mainland Japanese coastline. Uh, though having said that there are advisories in effect, more on that in a moment, uh, but the storm is expected to curve towards the east and then perhaps towards the southeast uh, towards the end of the forecast period before dissipating out in the open ocean. So gale advisories are in effect for um, a few prefectures in Japan including the Itsu Islands as well which is where the storm is likely to move closest to and uh, bearing in mind that a lot of the storminess or a lot of the cloud cover is to the east of the storm uh, that's probably where the worst of the weather will be seen. In terms of gales we might see some storm force uh, gusts out um, over the Japanese coastline where those uh, advisories are currently in effect up to around 40 miles per hour more and you can see here on the satellite imagery, the latest satellite here, you can see moving northwards um, over the past 24 hours, I believe this satellite imagery is. And you can see, um, you can definitely see the cloud cover starting to recede on the storm, and you can see the lower level circulation starting to appear um, visible to the naked eye from the satellite there. So let's take a look now at uh, the floater imagery of Invest 99W, which is in the South China Sea. You can see uh, the Philippines to the right and Vietnam to the left and uh, very disorganized at the moment but could form in the next few days particularly given that the water temperatures are very warm uh, where that storm is at the moment and here's Invest 93E in the eastern pacific a new uh, invest that formed today as well as 99W and that is located to the south of Mexico quite a way to the south of the tip of the Baja California Peninsula and that is expected to move out to the west without developing much at the moment and uh, that's shown here on the um, Model one showing you can see uh, the start of that run there were 93 e goes. You can see it there passing now off to the east. Not expected to gain much latitude over the next few days, and is expected not to uh, at least uh, not to gain much intensity and at least uh, not develop into a tropical storm. Uh, the ECMWF doesn't really see much at all in terms of 93 e or indeed any other systems in the Atlantic or the Eastern Pacific over the next few days. Uh, so not much development on that one. The GFS again doesn't see much here, just a few extratropical storms out uh, into the uh, Atlantic Canada region and the northeast of the United States, uh, but no tropical systems forming over the next few days according to the models at the moment. The NavGem as well picks up on 93E just a little bit uh, before uh, sending it back towards the uh, south again and uh, dissipating it, assumedly. So let's take a look now at the overall predictor season scores for June the 12th, 2013. Obviously no new storms yet, no new category changes or anything to that uh, degree. Uh, so here we are, the top three, Ken with 108, Typhoon Bobby with 101, and Hurricane Melissa 20 with 99 points. That's the top three scores 
uh, so far on June the 12th and a lot of those probably predicted very low scores because indeed those are accurate at the moment with obviously low totals this early in the season. You can submit your own totals on the Force 13 website, Force Slash Interactive. Just find the 2013 Predictor Storm button and uh, that'll take you straight to the page where you can submit your totals and it'll appear on the leaderboard in due course. So what happened on this day on June the 12th, not quite as much as yesterday, by quite a way actually, uh, but still a few things happened, 1976, Tropical Depression 3, turning post-tropical in the Atlantic, 1980, Hurricane Agatha peaking as a Category 3 storm in the Eastern Pacific, Tropical Storm Boris regenerating in the Eastern Pacific in 1984, and Tropical Storm Andreas dissipating in the Eastern Pacific again in 1985. In 97, Tropical Storm Blanca dissipated again in the Eastern Pacific. In 2004, Typhoon Chan started peaking as a Category 1 storm and making landfall in Vietnam with winds of 85 miles per hour, 38 fatalities and $7.9 million in damages. Um, and Hurricane Adrian dissipated in the Eastern Pacific in 2011, Tropical Depression 3 dissipating in 2007 there as well. And don't forget that you can track any and all storms that form on the website force13.com forward slash stormtracking.html That'll take you straight to the storm tracking pages where you can see every storm on the big overlay map and then you can look basin by basin going deeper into uh, the storm the storm areas where you can see the latest information, latest warning information of course as well which is obviously important for those in the path of the storm we get many visitors from those in the path of the storm, that's very good indeed um, and I hope it provides a good enough service for you um, and of course you can follow us on all the social pages uh, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, Force13 as always uh, just search it, you should find it fairly easily enough and don't forget to show your support if you like what we do uh, subscribe, like, favourite, follow and anything else that you can do to support Force 13, um, please do so. And the next video will be coming up probably at the same time tomorrow, the next bulletin, bulletin number 18 it will be for Thursday, June the 13th, 2013. That will be released at midnight UTC or so.